let's take a look at compound events and how we can find the number of outcomes. You picked a marble and spin a wheel. How many outcomes are possible? Well, notice this compound event has two different parts. The first event is what marble you pick, and the second outcome is what space you land on on the spinner. So our rule tells us if we multiply the number of outcomes for each of the two events, the answer or the product we get will be the number of outcomes for the compound event. So there's one, two, three, four, five different marbles we can pick, and we're going to multiply that by how many different spaces there are on the spinner. Notice the spinner has one, two, three, four, five different spaces. So when we multiply five times five, we get a, a total of 25 possible outcomes for our compound event. You spin a wheel and pick a marble. How many outcomes are possible? Well, for our first event, we can see that there's three different spaces we can land on on the spinner. So that event has three outcomes. And then when we pick a marble, there's two different marbles we could pick. So when we multiply that together, three times two, we get a total of six possible outcomes. You pick a marble and spin a wheel. How many outcomes are possible? Well, when we pick our marble, there's three different marbles we could pick. And when we spin the wheel, there's one, two, three different spaces we can land on. When we multiply that together, three times three, we get nine possible outcomes for our compound event. You spin a wheel and pick a marble. How many outcomes are possible? Well, when we spin the spinner, there's three possible outcomes because there's three spaces we can land on. When we pick a marble, there's four different marbles. If we multiply that together, we get a total of 12 different outcomes meaning 12 different combinations of spaces and marbles that we could get. You pick a marble and pick a card. How many outcomes are possible? Okay, well we can see that there's five different marbles. So five ways we could pick a marble and there's three different cards. So there's three different ways we could pick a card. When we multiply that together, there's 15 different ways we could combine those marbles and cards or 15 different outcomes that are possible. You pick a marble and spin a wheel. How many outcomes are possible? Well, there's two different outcomes for the marbles, right? The green one or the red one. And there's two outcomes for the spinner because there's two spaces we can land on. When we multiply that together, we get four possible outcomes or combinations of marbles and spinner spaces. You spin a wheel and pick a card. How many outcomes are possible? Well, on this spinner, there are four spaces we can land on, and we can see that there's three different cards we can pick from. If we multiply that together, we get a total of 12 possible outcomes. You pick a card and pick a marble. How many outcomes are possible? Well, there's three different cards we can pick and there's four different marbles. So if we multiply that three times four, we get a total of 12 outcomes. You pick a card and spin a wheel. How many outcomes are possible? Well, let's see, there's four different cards we can pick and there's two different spaces on the wheel. If we multiply that together, there's eight different outcomes or combinations of cards and spaces on the wheel. You pick a card and spin a wheel. How many outcomes are possible? Well, there's three different cards we can pick or three different outcomes we can get for cards. And there's also three different spaces we can land on on the spinner. If we multiply that together, there's nine possible outcomes or combinations of cards and spaces we can land on. 